So I guess first things first, I discovered ghost hunting. I decided to look at um, the organizations, like websites and whatnot. And the first thing that I realized about this is how many there are, because there are a lot. And all these different organizations, I think, were very varied and different, but they had one thing in common, and that was not being what I was expecting. So I think I've, I've sidetracked a little bit. But to go back to what I was doing, I went on the websites, and then after looking at the websites, this connected me into, you know, I want to get everything together. I want to try and get a, a uh, an investigation even shown. So I, I reached out and I said, I'm a high school filmmaker. I wanted to make a documentary. And I told them right off the bat, I'm a skeptic. I want to try and get an investigation, see if this changes my mind at all, see what you guys find. I, I wanted something real interesting to show. And White Hill Mansion was that thing. This is a mansion that was made in the 1720s, and supposedly, according to my research, there are ghosts inside. Um, tonight, some ghost hunters have the right to investigate in there. I'm feeling a little nervous right now. I guess I don't know what to expect, but I'm, I'm definitely interested. My interest has been piqued. This looks like something out of a movie. White Hill Mansion was a ton of fun. Uh, I was able to video both the mansion itself, I was able to video some other people who were looking for ghosts, and I was even able to ask them some questions. But my friends were actually this weekend coming up, or we're doing, you know, it's, it's like a team group outing. You know, Hello? we're gonna go camping. Yeah, it did. So the thing just turned off by itself? Yeah. I don't know if I found out if ghosts are real or not. I think I would still have to say, I don't think they are. But my perspective has changed. I think originally it was a matter of, are ghosts real or are ghosts not real? Now it's more a matter of, I think, the fact that, you know, what they're doing isn't really hurting anybody. I do think after White Hill Mansion that I had discovered part of the truth, but not the whole thing. And I knew there was still a barrier there that I was gonna have to go with sit down interviews to fully fix. Um, just to start off, what is your name and give me like a brief explanation of the story. Oh, my name is Kathy Hankin and um, the story is about a friend of mine that had passed. Uh, my name is Ron Shamili. Uh, I am a part of Epithelium Paranormal. Uh, my name is Peter, and I used to uh, internship with a ghost hunting team. Uh, I was always feeling like uh, when I was alone that I was being watched. But they were, they were taking pictures while we were talking, and you can see in the photos, it's, it's very odd. This black mist slowly is moving in. Three years after his passing, um, I had a vivid dream. A friend had passed and all of a sudden we were in a car together and, and I'm like, well, okay, well, let me fill you in. And, and then he's talking about a truck. Then I was driving home from work. It was a route I took all the time. And so this light turned green and this truck blew through the light. And had I not looked right and saw the truck, I wouldn't be here. I think a lot of these people were not in it for fun, like the ghost hunting thing. And it, it was fun, they did say that's, a part of it is that it's intriguing and it's interesting and I want, I want to know more about ghosts. But for the most part, most of them were saying. I think that's the biggest uh, thrill for me with this is knowing that, you know, I've helped somebody out. I even to this day still have text messages I get from people that I've helped in the past that have sent me messages saying, you know, thank you again for what you've done. It was, it was, it was a real conversation between us, so I really, you know, I, I, I hold that very close and precious, especially with the outcome that that dream had. After talking to these people, I wouldn't say I believe in ghosts, but I think I'm more open to the idea. And I think that these people are respectable. And I think that's the big thing. Ghost hunting is cool. That's a... That's the second thing. 